Hello Brand Talkers and welcome to another Brand Talk session and I'm still your favorite host IKOGB. Remember you can connect with me via Instagram at IKOGB that is I-K-O-J-I-B-E or we can also catch up on TikTok using the same username and also on Twitter everything at I-K-O-J-I-B-E all right so all right today i'm going to be talking about um well something i'll title don't focus on the numbers and this today's session it's inspired by a conversation i recently had with a friend and i'm going to give a shout out to him uh peter Bremer, and i'm giving this shout out to you because our conversation inspired me a lot inspired me to continue uh on this journey because the truth is sometimes sometimes you get to wonder sometimes this doubt comes to your mind all right uh, what is the what is the impact of what you're doing and like what is the impact especially when there, there, there are periods you can't really tell uh, if what you're doing is actually impacting people but having conversations that i had with you recently is just it's i can just put use one word it's totally inspiring and also i am dedicating and um yeah i'm dedicating this episode to you and thank you for this wonderful conversation now don't focus on the numbers uh it's 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 i'll just say this is a very unpopular opinion i'll say it's a very unpopular opinion because it goes against everything uh or most of the things the conventional wisdom we learned growing up and we still continue to learn now remember when you are starting up a business even when you go to your bankers even when you go to your accountants the numbers are very important the profit what's coming in what's going out how you're managing it right these days we have social media we have uh, uh we have jobs that are called social media managers and for a social media manager the analytics are important content creators the analytics are important how many people are viewing my, my how many people are viewing my content how many people are responding engaging with it and all that even uh you're being uh, you're being rewarded for having a vast number of engagements so you're being rewarded for the numbers as well so if all this is revolving around the numbers why is there an opinion which to my uh, to my in my own opinion is an unpopular opinion right about not focusing on the numbers someone said something and i instantly agreed with that and i bought into it because that's how i've come to see life and business now he said this profound he made this profound statement and in the state he said the goal of every business is not to make profit no profit or money is the fuel so it's like putting a fuel in a vehicle the goal of the vehicle is to get you from point a to point b right however fuel is what enables the vehicle get you to from point a to point b in the same sense the goal of your business is what you prom what you're promising the value you're promising your customers you're going to give them the, the value you're giving to the society the value whatever value you're pro- producing right that is the goal of your business now the money you're making the money coming into the business is the fuel that enables you achieve that goal recently we tend to turn it all the other way around and make it the goal of every business should be all about profit making and that is why people don't put much thought into customer service into trying to figure out how to or into trying to come up with the uh I'll, let me, I'll put it as well come up with a premium experience not necessarily an expensive experience but give stay true to what you're promising 
people try to cut corners all because they want to make more money and now we're an- sometimes we are be- we're answerable to shareholders and all that we're going to account for their money and all so don't focus on the numbers now i i recently met peter face to face uh we met at a friend's traditional marriage over the easter period and uh we of course we've spoken over the phone but we've not had the time to meet that was the that one occasion made it possible for us to sit down across each other for the first time and i remember listening to him and of course he telling me how he he had like he keeps on he keeps on listening to all of our content on brand talk and he never misses any episode and all and i'm like wow that's that's really interesting now more interesting is when he started telling me how it has helped him shape his business even to the extent of the turnover in terms of like the the what his business has been able to get you know into uh into the business in terms of using the word profit now <laughs> i was i was amazed because honestly sitting down there listening to him in my mind i'm like wow is this really happening or are you, are you really sure about what you're saying <laughs> that is what that is what kept on going in my head and all i know to a certain point a bit of jealousy because the numbers he called <laughs> i'm like whoa I, I didn't meet these numbers but you listening like and all but you're able to make this number but I was just really happy because hearing him talk about transforming his business and I know he's gonna be you know he's gonna do better he's gonna become better but going back to my room that night I, I just kept on wondering like you know because there are some days you just don't know what to do some days you don't feel like because especially nobody's paying you for this right <laughs> so there's some days you feel like you lost your mojo and you're questioning yourself why exactly am i doing this or some days like uh we are tempted to look at the numbers you're looking at the the, the number the numbers of likes the numbers of follows the numbers of uh, views in terms of and you're not hitting as what the other guys are hitting and then you get to question yourself like am i doing the right thing and all having that conversation with peter gave me that assurance about not focusing on the number now don't get me wrong i never said anything that the number is not important it is important right but it's not it's not something for you to focus on the way your profit is important in business but it's not something for you to focus on focus on the goal and it's the same i'm going to tell you today focus on the goal why you started that as a content creator as a business owner whatever it is you're doing as an employee why is it why did you why did you look for that job why are you why did you start working in that particular organization now the, the funny thing is that some people their goal of working might actually be because of the salary being paid and all but focus on the goal why you started this what was it that you aimed to achieve when you started your content creation journey right i when i started brand talk the aim has always been to better educate business owners on business building. Everything where everything and anything that helps make business building, brand building, relationship building easier for business owners. This is what we are when it comes to brand talk. And we've tried in our best possible way, like I and the amazing team that work behind the scene with me always whenever I come here to make sure that whatever content I'm dropping whatever content I'm giving out is going to be useful to someone and you know when I had this conversation with Peter I kept on remembering everything that my mentor told Alabi uh everything he has told everything he has told me personally everything he has told us as a group in the mentorship platform about just enjoying your journey focusing on why you started something and giving everything you have totally to people like not holding back anything just giving it all out there 
someone is washing and someone is being imparted and one day one day that is gonna like you're gonna have to, you're going to see that and all and it's unfortunate that we are in a generation that you know honestly let's be frank we're not that patient right we're not that uh patience is, is never it's not the top priority for this generation and especially from the millennial from my generation which are the millennials coming down like patience is is just like it's not a, it's not in our top priority and all and there's this need for instant gratification there's this need you know since the world viral has gone viral <laughs> we want everything we do to go viral instantly one when we put out that video we keep on looking at the analytics if it's a real whatever it is or oh, i want to hit a million views i want to hit i want i want youtube to start paying me instantly and all and what this does is because we keep on focusing on that number it keeps on depressing us right let me tell you something someone will always outperform you I don't care who you are someone will always outperform you when it comes to numbers someone will always end more than you someone will always uh, get more than you someone will always get more views than you someone will always get more followers than you there is always one person that will always be ahead of you so why will you constantly keep putting yourself in a state of depression because you keep focusing on the numbers why don't you focus on why you started that journey let me talk to content creators quickly you started a youtube channel you started whatever an instagram account whatever it is why did you start that you started a vlog you wanted to show people the world through your eyes why don't you focus on showing people start by showing those two people with those two follows those two likes those 10 likes those 10 those 10 follows those 10 views because you you need to get to a point where you start seeing those numbers as real people you have 10 people view your youtube uh, video they consumed it and you have two five out of those 10 comment tell you this is amazing you have five human beings spend you know spend however minutes or however minutes long whatever duration is your video on youtube they spent that not that time watching you and because you're not appreciating the fact that these are human beings and you turn them into numbers you're you're angry because after five hours after 18 hours you only have 20 views 30 views and then you're beating yourself because some other person posted something and in one hour the person have gotten 300,000 views and then you're focusing on the number and not on the people our focus should be on the goal and on people if there's something i've come to learn of recent and if there's something i always talk about whatever whether it's on my write-up whether it's on anything i try to do it's constantly relationship building it's about looking at people as people and not looking at them as numbers because that will help you that will make the journey better that will make the journey easier and that will give you a reason to get up when you do not have a reason because there come on let's be frank there will be days you do not feel like you won't feel like there's no mojo there's going to be the creative blogs there's going to be a lot of things you don't have money in your account like and you're broke you don't know where where the next meal is going to come from and all that that's going there's going to be days like that but if there's one thing that will that will encourage you to keep what you to keep doing what you're doing is to answer this question now why did i start this and honestly if you started this because of money because you want to make money out of this it's a wrong place to start and you're going to be heartbroken you're going to be heartbroken you're going to fall into depression you're going to if that is why you started it is whether it's a business whatever it is you're starting so if you started uh your blog your vlog because your primary purpose is that you want to start getting 1 million views you're going to be very disappointed it's going to take a, it's going to take a while now you know a lot of people say yeah it's all about consistency when you just uh post 
two videos three videos do this every post on social media be cons- consistently posting yeah it's about consistency I'll, I'll be very honest but it's about consistently doing what you love or consistently loving what you do <laughs> you have to figure that out so it's about consistently putting out things that you know you love to you you want to put it out there because you know it's going to affect it's going to change the life of one person it's going to impact the life of one person or one person is going to enjoy consuming this content from you focus on that and you're going to enjoy this journey this is meant to be a very short podcast but it's gonna <laughs> it has taken up oh, it has taken some minutes and all and i'm just gonna leave it here and i'll leave you with a word that my mentor left me that has never he left in me and it has never left me at all and funny enough my my parents my dad and my mom said same thing recently your job is to start that project start the youtube channel start the instagram account start the business start the job that is your job your job is not to sustain it that job solely belongs to god and except if you're arrogant enough to believe yourself to be god then try sustaining whatever it is even marriage even relationships right your job is to start but it's god's sole responsibility to sustain it think about it and ponder on it and please feel free to share your thoughts like i always encourage you you can also send me an email at the brand talk community that is brand talk community at gmail.com send me a personal dm on my instagram like as ikojibe on tiktok on twitter i'd love to get your response all right i'll see you in the next episode peace